Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. So if you ask me, Sarah, what was the most defining moment in giving you hope in beating stage four cancer, I would have to say something so wackadoodle that if this is your first time listening to Beating Cancer Daily, you'll go, I don't know about that lady, but it's so intimate. I just want to share it with you because I want to show you how desperate I was to find a miracle, but how this one thing really was a game changer for me. I might even cry while I tell you this because it seems so ludicrous right now. But it was so real for me, and I wanted to just share it with you because I think it's important. Okay, I read a study somewhere between 1999 and 2001 that changed my life, and I don't have it. I haven't been able to locate it online. I've searched long and hard, so maybe we should put like a reward up if somebody can find it or like, you know how they have the wanted posters in post offices? We should have a wanted poster in research centers all over the world to see if anybody can locate this one study that I read. Here it goes. It said that there was a schizophrenic who they were studying. And when the schizophrenic changed personalities, the person changed eye color and blood type. Okay, I have done a deep dive into schizophrenia online, trying to find this article. And it says that there's a lot of eye changes with people who experience schizophrenia. And there are so many different articles on all different observations about the eye with patients that are experiencing schizophrenia. I cannot find this one article. Now, what it said was that when this patient went from one persona to the next, the patient literally changed eye color and blood type. And I can't remember what the eye colors were or what the blood types were. But when I read that article, I remember I started shaking and I said to myself, if a schizophrenic could do it involuntarily, then I can change my blood, my body to fight cancer. I am not kidding you. This became the light, the beacon that I held on to. I just didn't pray to become schizophrenic and I didn't pray to have a mental issue. But what I did pray was that I would be able to do enough things within my own mind, body, and spirit to reinvent my immune system and become cancer free. Now, I have no idea what Scientific America would say about that hope, that goal, that desire, and the reality of it. But I did do some research on spontaneous healing from cancer. And you might know that I worked very closely with Dr. Kelly Turner on the book Radical Remission and then the subsequent documentary and that I am chapter six in the book Radical Remission and episode four in the documentary. 
But for this episode, this is really about me finding something that seems so hopeful and me pursuing that avenue. Again, I can't tell you if this research study was valid, is true, if I can ever find it again. I'm just telling you, when I have read that, I decided to try to reinvent my immune system. And I tried to reinvent my mind, body, and spirit from the inside out. Now, you have to remember, I did everything that Western medicine told me to do. I did three surgeries, 44 radiation treatments, and two plus years of chemotherapy, so many different drugs. I didn't do one thing instead of the other. I did everything everyone told me to do. But this is more about me finding something that gave me hope in a time where everyone was telling me that I had a 1% chance of survival and that I wasn't going to make it and to get my affairs in order. So I am so grateful that I found that article, even if it's a bunch of malarkey, even if somebody made it up for whatever reason, it gave me hope. So I hope that somebody finds that research study and that article and can give it to me because I would love to investigate it further. I just can't find it today. But I do have a joke for you because I couldn't find my research study that gave me all that hope. This is from Lily Tomlin. Why is it when we talk to God, we're said to be praying, but when God talks to us, we're schizophrenic? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was really appropriate <laughs> based on what I talked about. Okay. I would love to hear your thoughts on this subject. I would love to know what you're holding on to that gives you incredible hope in your fight against cancer or in your survivorship with cancer. And you can go to the Comedy Cares Foundation at comedycares.org and hit the record button or the write us button and let me know what it is that you're thinking about. Thanks so much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Many blessings. I hope you guys know this, but Beating Cancer Daily is a listener and donor supported podcast and community. So if you have some extra change, I'd love you to go to ComedyCures.org and make a donation today of whatever level is comfortable for you. And it will be tax deductible to the extent allowed by law because Comedy Cures is a nonprofit 501c3 organization founded from my chemo chair, April 1999. And we've been going strong ever since. So please consider making a donation today and help our community and this podcast thrive. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is? It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.